Hi everybody, Planet Walls here. I am very excited to be bringing you a new software tool on behalf of MTGO Academy. Uh, we don't believe it's available anywhere else. It is called the Shuffler Demon. Uh, and uh, the page for accessing the tool is right here, and I will get to that in a minute. Um, before I get to actually giving you instructions on how the Shuffler Demon works, which I'll be doing in this short video, uh, I want to explain the Shuffler Demon's inception and a little bit about how it works, even though I'm not a computer programmer, and then uh, what you'll be able to do with it and why we think it'll be a great addition uh, to the set of tools available for Magic Online players. Um, so I don't know how many of you are familiar with the idea that the Magic Online Shuffler, the thing that randomizes cards in hidden zones, including the library, actually has certain biases to it. Um, I originally didn't give this a lot of credence before a couple of years ago. Uh, I thought that it was sort of crazy to think that there was any sort of set of hidden variables at work in determining how your cards are arranged in hidden zones. Uh, I didn't believe that. I didn't think that wizards had any reason to do that or any motivation to do that, to, to change the order to anything but random, I mean. Um, but it turns out that there are actually subtle things that Magic Online software does in order to change the degree of randomness uh, of cards and hidden zones in your games on Magic Online. Again, including your library. That's the most important one, right? Uh, at least most of the time. And so I found this out uh, from a friend of mine who lives in Seattle, and he has an acquaintance. I'm not sure what the relationship is, exactly what the nature of it is, but a, an acquaintance who works uh, at Wizards of the Coast and has some access to the Magic Online software. And I was telling uh, my friend, my close friend, about how people had thought the Shuffler online didn't really randomize your cards and sometimes it screwed you over and that people needed to play different numbers of lands and their paper magic decks than they did online because of the nature of the online Shuffler. And I talked about it as ridiculous. My friend happened to bring that up in some kind of meeting with his acquaintance, who works for Wizards of the Coast, and the acquaintance revealed to him uh, privately, I don't think he expected it, whatever, that's beside the point. Um, but this acquaintance revealed to him that actually there are some subtle things that Wizards does in the back uh, with the Shuffler to make sure that it keeps games exciting, really. It, it turns out that actual randomization or approximate, really approximate randomization doesn't make for as fun of magic matches online. And so what Wizards has done is they have a tool that they use, not, not a tool like the one that we do, but essentially a backdoor to the Shuffler software um, they affectionately call it the Shuffler God, which I think is kind of cute. Um, but it allows them to manipulate the supposed randomness, the quote-unquote randomness of your draws and other things. And so they want to make sure that, you know, good players sometimes uh, will draw a lot of lands in a row, or that uh, good players will have to mulligan, or to keep things exciting, even players who have lower ratings on Magic Online, make sure that they have to mulligan more than usual sometimes, or that, or, you know, this is basically the thing that happens, uh, that Wizards uses. It's a fairly complex algorithm, but they, but they'll use it in circumstances wh where you'll draw like 15 to 20 land in a row. Maybe not that many. I don't know. The, the, the point is they use it to keep games fresh. And I think, I think it's probably a good idea in retrospect. Um, and so we wondered at MTGO Academy with this information, is there any way that we could design a software tool for Magic Online players to use where they could modify the draws of a player in client uh, and modify the modify the the order of the cards in the library, for instance. Um, and we were really excited about this possibility because think of the ramifications. You could, if you were testing against a deck, you could make sure that the deck you were testing against was getting good draws. So you could test against their good draws, or you could test against worse draws um, with some modifications. Uh, and and we, we thought that this would be really good, especially for testing purposes, um, testing constructed, or even practicing limited. If you want to make sure that your opponent in a match uh, in limited draws really well, because you want to, you know, you, you want a, a good challenge, right? Uh, you could use the, the tool. And so uh, the Shuffler Demon tool was born at MTGO Academy. And essentially the way it works is it accesses that back door of quote-unquote randomness to modify the draws of a player logged into Magic Online who's currently playing a game. Um, and it's, it works really brilliantly. Apparently, uh, according to our programming team, it's actually fairly easy for them to access this on the old client. And I'll talk about some details uh, regarding that soon. 
Um, but but what I want to do, I'm I'm just consulting my notes here uh, to make sure that uh, I'm hitting everything that I need to. Yeah, uh, just to reaffirm, what, I mean the real purpose of this is to be able to to test cards, uh, to test decks against one another, and make sure that the draws. Uh, that that your opponent is getting, for instance, are appropriate, or if you want to be watching another game uh, to make sure that that game is interesting, etc. Um, and because Magic Online software doesn't really make even cards in hidden zones random, uh, that's the way that we were able to access uh, the Magic Online client with the Shuffler Demon tool. And so uh, I'll just preview down here. The way it works, essentially, is that you enter the player's name, who's... Uh, library you want to modify uh, and you have to make sure you enter it exactly so I do this quite a bit he's always streaming and I like to make sure that he has something to talk about when he's streaming um, and then you choose between one of these five options eventually we'll have more options available but the tool has limited functionality right now um, so you can randomize their library um, you can make sure that all the land cards in their library are on top of all the spell cards or the other way around or you can make sure that the next card is a land or a spell card um, there's some limitations to this, which I'll, which I'll mention. Uh, for instance, any time uh, the, the player in question shuffles uh, their library, you'll have to do this again. Um, essentially, you can by hitting please randomize, though that has limitations too, right? So the way the Shuffler Demon works, it doesn't randomize their entire library if you, for instance, choose the randomization option. It only does that to all unknown cards in the library. So, for instance, uh, Hinder... The, the counter spell from Kamigawa Block can put a can put a card in the bottom of their library or on the top. Uh, in either case, that's a known card, and Magic Online keeps track of this. So if you were to use this tool, it would only manipulate the library of that player who had a hindered card on the top or bottom, up to the point uh, of that card. Uh, the same thing with Brainstorm, right? If there are cards on the top of your opponent's library, for instance that have been brainstormed there, where they put it back on top, you can't change those those cards using the Shuffler Demon, but you can change the cards under those if, they, if, if they're unknown by both players, okay? Uh, so it only refers to unknown cards. Uh, it, only, it only works on unknown cards. Uh, so I'll just go over the instructions here real quick. We want to make sure you read this, the instructions, before you use it, the tool, and uh, the developer's note down here. And down here, we, we just... We acknowledge that we have no way to enforce this, and we don't believe Wizards has any way to enforce this, but please don't use the Shuffler Demon in real competitive matches. Um, that's just wrong. We know we can trust you because you're part of the Magic community, and you know we love having you at MTGO Academy. Just you know, be, be kind when you're using the Shuffler Demon. Uh, it's not meant to manipulate tournament results or something of that sort. Maybe in a Swiss draft it's okay because there aren't that many prizes online. Or in a player run event, I know that recently I've been using this tool quite a bit in Classic League in the player run event uh, series run by Classic Quarter and our own uh, Unlocking the Vaults Enderfall. Uh, against Montolio, for instance, uh, I was able to use the Shuffler Demon to make sure that he had to mold a four at the beginning of the game. And I thought that that was an appropriate way to test the match to make it a little harder on him since I knew he had the advantage in that matchup. Oh, hope you can hear me over the police car going by. Um... That wasn't so bad, but uh, it, it made it made the match a little bit more fair and more fun for both of us that I used the Shuffler Demon. And that's, you know, that and testing against different decks, those are two really good uses of the Shuffler Demon. A couple other caveats to its usage. Uh, the player whose library you want to modify has to be logged into Magic Online, and you, you put their name here. So, for instance, I have X Mimex here. Uh, he... he, he streams a lot and it's fun to change the cards he's, he's, he's drawing in his library when he's streaming. Uh, he has a lot to say about it sometimes. Um, also, you have to be logged on, uh, logged into Magic Online, and also logged in with a registered account on MTGO Academy that's tied up to that Magic Online account. So here's my profile for Magic Online. You'll see my Magic Online name here. And as I showed at the beginning, I'm currently logged in on Magic Online under the same name, Planet Walls. Um, so you have to be logged into MTGO Academy. Um, I'm not sure that's a real software limitation so much as a feature that we put in to make sure that you're involved in our community and checking out our site a little bit. You have to be logged in. Um, however, one of the limitations is because you have to be logged into Magic Online and then connected through our website, it means you can't currently modify your own 
uh, library in your own draws using the tool. You could do it if you were logged into another account, but not if you were logged into that account. I'm not sure why that is. The programmers that we, uh, our, our programmers basically said that that's something that they can't do right now. Um, a couple other issues I should mention. Um, the Shuffler Demon affects every game that that player is currently in. So if your opponent's triple queuing, it'll affect them. If, and you type in your opponent's name, so let's say you're playing against X Mimex, and he happens to be triple queuing, whatever you do to his library will happen in each of those games until he shuffles that library, um, right? And uh, so you can't do it to yourself. You, if you affect an opponent, uh, it affects them in every game that they're currently playing. Uh, one other thing that I need to mention is that currently it cannot work if your opponent is, or, or the player you're, you're, you're putting here, it doesn't have to be your opponent, um, is using the beta client. So if they're using the, you know, the, the main client right now, you can modify their draws, or their libraries, rather. Um, but not if they're using the beta client. This is something that our programming team says that they'll be able to fix, certainly before uh, the beta client is uh, be becomes the, the new standard client, right? Bef before it replaces the current client. But it's something to keep in mind. Um, if, you, if it's not working on your opponent, if the Shuffler Demon isn't working, it's probably because uh, your opponent is logged into the beta client. Um, okay, any other points here that I have to mention? Hmm. Okay, um, so let's just try this out. Uh, I don't know if XMimX is online right now. If he's not online, the tool isn't going to affect him. Um, but let's just make sure that he draws a spell card next. I hope that he's in a game and he's, you know, got six lands on the table and wants to draw spells from now on. So making sure that you agree to our developer's note and have paid attention to all the instructions. Uh, we've got his name in here precisely. Uh, you should submit your wish to the Shuffler Demon. You'll be taken to this next page. And the tool works really quickly. So uh, while we hope to improve this feature in future uh, versions of the tool, um, you only really have to scroll down this page. It doesn't take long at all. And then you need to read this statement that says that you acknowledge that you yourself are responsible for the decisions you're making using the tool. Um, MTGO Academy is not liable for what you do with it. Uh, and once you agree to that, uh, it's worked. It's changed the top card of the library for X Mimex, right? And uh, so Mim is drawing a spell right now, probably, unless he shuffled his library, in which case you have to do it again. Um, we made it really easy to do it again. I'll show you that in a second. But first, uh, let us know how you... Um, feel about the tool by leaving comments here um and you can click right here this is what i was going to say you can click right here to go right back and do it again so we made that really easy on you uh tool works really quickly you can do it uh very easily i think as long as you make sure that the player's name is typed in precisely um so if you wanted to do it to me you'd have to type in this and uh then make me draw a land let's say or make sure that all the spells on the top of my deck uh or in my deck were on top of all the lands in my deck right um, and, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, you have to be pretty quick with the tool if you want to make sure your opponent mulligans a bunch of times at the beginning of, of the game, or whatever player you're watching, um, or, or whose library you want to modify. Um, other than that, I think that's everything I have to say about the tool. Be responsible with it. Um, let us know how you like it. And uh, let us know ways we can improve it. Again, we're always working to increase the experience of our uh, customers and fans at MTGO Academy. And hopefully the Shuffler Demon will work really well. And uh, I just hope that it gets a, a large following because our programmers have been working hard on it and making sure it's as streamlined and useful as possible. So thanks for watching and uh, may the demon be with you.